I have about 10 million books to read in February and because I've been ill this video is already a week late so it's gonna go great. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to TBR Cluedo! <laughs> if you don't know, TBR Cluedo is my TBR game that we play every month. It's time for February, babes. I know this video is late, okay? Because I got ill, everything got pushed back and pushed back and it is what it is, okay? <laughs> so yeah, in this video, we will be finding out if TBR Cluedo is going to be kind to me. <laughs> I've already got a lot of books that I want to read. So is TBR Cluedo going to be kind and allow me to read those books or I have to read other books? Who knows? We're going to play TBR Cluedo and see what I have to read in February. Are we excited? I know we are. I already know we are. But before we get into the video, I want to say a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Serious Readers. So I love my Serious Light. They make reading lights and I am obsessed with mine. You guys know I've spoken about it a lot. I use it every day. I love it so much. I have the high definition light, which has a dimmer, which is honestly game changing because different times of the day, whether it's dark or light, I can have it a different brightness. I noticed before I had my reading light that I was getting really bad eye strain, but the Sirius lights have daylight wavelength technology in them that replicates the daylight spectrum as closely as possible. And what this means, I always say it's like a breath of fresh air for my eyes. When I'm reading now at night, I feel so just alert, awake. I'm not getting eye strain. Strain. I'm not falling asleep when reading which sometimes happens if I'm in like a dark room and trying to read your eyes and your brain are working a lot harder and it just makes reading so much easier and so much more enjoyable it has honestly leveled up my reading I feel like since I started using it I've been reading way more so I love it and I have got a code that gets you free international shipping they can make any kind of plug on the lights that you need you will also get a free compact light worth 150 pounds with any purchase in the serious lights range what a free light worth 150 pounds so go check them out down below i love it so much and i cannot recommend it enough okay let's get into roll one of tbr cluedo okay roll number one let's see who we roll we've got person number two which is purple over there in romance let's see how many we roll oh my god we've got a five and a two okay can we get to that one one two three four five okay perfect that is number one, which is a new to me author. So roll one was a romance, which is perfect for the month of love. <laughs> <laughs> we got a romance which is an author that is new to me and this is the choice that I gave to my patrons to vote on so if you don't know my patrons vote on one round of TBR Cluedo every month and then that ends up being our book club pick for the month so that's how our book club pick is decided and the choices I gave them this month were Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez, Dating Dr. Deal by Nisha Sharma, Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade and After Love by Tanya Byrne and the book that won the poll unanimous well not unanimously but with over 50% of the vote is Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. I have heard so many good things. I am so excited to read this with them. I think it's about, you know, this couple who meet, she's from a city, he's from a farm, and they kind of upend each other's lives and trying to figure out how their worlds can merge. My mum read this and she loved it. She went and bought loads of Abby Jimenez's backlist. So I just heard so many good things. It's got such a high rating and they all seem really excited to read it. So I'm super excited too. You know, romance isn't always my thing, but I can give a romance five stars stars. Exemplified by Ali Hayeswood. I also love Talia Hibbert. So I'm hoping this will fall within the romance that I do love. I Does that sound like something you want? Yes. Well, let me tell you, you'll never get it. So I'm hoping for great things. So if you want to join me in reading this, read it together. We have a discussion live show. I will leave the link down below if you should join my patron. Okay, roll number two. Let's see who we roll. Person number three, which is red over here in historical. It would be great to get into mystery. I don't know if we can though. So maybe we'll go for something in historical. Let's see. Let's go one, <laughs> two, Three, four, no, that's not gonna work. I'm trying to get to something in historical. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So that is number 27, which is a book rated three stars on Goodreads. So roll two was a historical that is rated three stars on Goodreads. So this is anything that is three point something on Goodreads. And this one just is, <laughs> it's 3.94 on Goodreads. I'm choosing Lord Edgware Dies by Agatha Christie. Yes, this is a mystery, 
but like it's historical. It's set in the past, okay? <laughs> what do you want from me? Yup, 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 yup. Yep. I have a lot of mysteries to read this month, so I had to shoehorn this in here. So this is the next in the Poirot series for me. I've got to read this, and then I get to do a reread of Murder on the Orient Express, which is the first Agatha Christie I ever read, and what made me fall in love with Agatha Christie and murder mysteries, really, in general. I don't really know what it's about. I never really need to know what the Poirot books are about. I'm only, like, can you see this list? I'm only, where am I? Up here, I have all these Poirot books to read. <laughs> Anyways, so it's about a woman who brags about killing her husband and then he is killed and Poirot's trying to figure out did she actually do it or did someone else do it? I don't know. I love Poirot. They're like palate cleansers. They are fun, easy reads and I just love making my way, making my way, making my way downtown. No, making my way through them. So super excited to get into this this month. It's just like comforting, easy, fun mysteries and I think I'm out of the Hastings era pretty much now, hopefully. Does he narrate this? I don't think he does. I, I don't like Hastings, okay? <laughs> I hate him. I have nothing against him. I just don't like the books he narrates as much. So I think we're out of the woods on Hastings. Okay, roll number three. Let's see how many we roll. Person number five, which is white over here in Tora. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a three and a six. Can we get to the wand? Because that would be very helpful because I've got a lot of books I need to read for themed reading vlogs and that's what that is for. So, okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. We have got The Wand, which is a book in a themed reading vlog. I just dropped it, but that's what it is. <laughs> Roll three was The Wand, which is a book that I need to read for a themed reading vlog. So this is one of the weapons. It is not constrained by the room it is in. With the weapons, I have the choice. I don't have to constrain them by the room they're in, but I can. So anyway, so I'm in control, but I'm out of control and I'm also um controlled. So in a way, I'm everything. <laughs> so say like I get random number generator, I can random number generate my whole TBR or my shelf for, the, for that genre. I can do either. I have the power. <laughs> I make the rules. I'm not going to use the rules don't apply gif because I just used that in my last video, but just know if I hadn't, it would be in there. The book I have chosen is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I'm going to read this for a video. will probably be out uh, at the start of March, but I do need to read this this month. I don't know much about this. I think it's about, isn't it about like a group of actors in like a pandemic or after a pandemic where like civilization has collapsed. I don't know. But this is like a modern day classic. I feel like everyone loves it. I have heard nothing but wonderful things about this. And I read my first Emily St. John Mandel, The Glass Hotel last year, and I did enjoy it. But I feel like this, I even have a bigger chance of loving. I really liked her writing. I really liked the interesting stuff that she chose to focus on. I don't know, I really enjoyed it. So I'm super excited to see what I think of Station Eleven. I feel like almost everyone has read this now and I am just behind the curve because I feel like it came out when I wasn't really reading like what 2016 if I had to guess oh 2014 yeah I was I'd kind of stopped I was stopping reading around 2015 until like 2018 so if it was a lot from that kind of era that I missed out on so very excited to get into this okay roll number four person number one which is green over in fantasy let's see how many we roll oh my gosh a four and a five okay Let's go one, two, three, four to number 15. I can't hold anything right today. What is, what is that one? That is, oh, a book that a booktuber hated. Okay, well. <laughs> Roll four was a fantasy that a booktuber has hated. And I was like, oh shit, what am I gonna pick for this? I realized I needed to finally read Book of Night by Holly Black. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of who hated this, I know Jesse from Jesse the Reader, I think gave it two stars. I think Ro gave it, I think DNF'd it. I remember seeing on Goodreads. So, I mean, this has been a universally pretty much disliked book. I'm very nervous. I've never read anything by Holly Black. This is gonna be my Holly Black introduction, which I'm not sure this is the best way to be introduced to her, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, people have not been loving this. All I know, about this, I, I'm just gonna tell you, all I know about the plot is that it sounds like a Ninth House ripoff. And I love Ninth House and I'm protective of it. So like, I'm not feeling the most confident. <laughs> I think it's about a girl with a dark past who tries to put itself behind her. And there's magic and it's weird. I don't know, I haven't heard all the best things. But sometimes when everyone else doesn't like a fantasy, like not everyone loved Ninth House, Ninth House has been a bit controversial, uh, I love it. So maybe this will go well for me. Who knows? <laughs> okay, time for number five. Can I finally get Mr. Brown here in mystery? Everyone pray for me. 
No, person number one. <laughs> Let's see how many we roll. Got a two and a five. Can we go one, two, three, four, five? Yes, we can. That is number 20, which is, where is it? <laughs> which is a title with one word, okay. Then we had another fantasy, to be like those determined not to let me read all the mystery books I need to read this month. Don't be Don't fucking do rude. Are you kidding me? I need to read a lot of mystery books this month. And it's like, no, no. The book that I have chosen is Gallant by V.E. Schwab. I'm really excited for this. This is another one that I feel like came out from a big author last year. This was not as controversial in terms of opinion as book of, as book of the month, book of night. <laughs> but um, I still feel like not everyone loved it. I just know it's about a girl who like gets a letter from her uncle, summoning her to his estate. When she gets there, he's dead. She must not go out after dusk and always stay on the right side of the crumbling wall. I've actually had a lot of people tell me that I'm gonna enjoy this. I remember when it first came out, there were a lot of people like on my patron reading it and telling me I was gonna enjoy it. I've also heard good things about the audiobook. It's pretty short. Sure. I'm just Listen, me and Vinny Schwab usually have pretty good luck. I've read, I loved Vicious, five stars. I loved Addie LaRue, five stars. I didn't like Vengeful, I gave that two stars. Is that the only Addie LaRue I've ever read? Oh no, I've read one of her middle grade books, but like, I didn't love that. So like, we are a bit hit or miss. So we are like, love or not like, but I'm hoping for good things from this. Okay, final roll. We have got, oh my God, we got number seven. Ah, no, I moved it. We had number seven, which is brown over here in mystery. Finally, oh my God. Let's see how many we roll. We have got a three and a two. Let's go one, two, three, four, five to number 23, which is a book under 300 pages. And then finally on roll six, it let me get into mystery. Too little too late, honestly. I have so many other books that I would have wanted to put on this list, but oh well, it's fine. So it was mystery under 300 pages and I have picked a book that I have been so beyond excited to read for ages. And it is Your Guide to Not Getting Murdered in a Quaint English Village. This is by Maureen Johnson and Jay Cooper. I think Jay Cooper's the illustrator. So this is just like, it's very short, it's like 120 pages. It's like a tongue in cheek, almost graphic novel, making fun of the murder mystery genre. And I'm just, I've been so excited to read this. I've been trying to save it for the perfect moment. So it has like the characters you usually find in these and like, the ways people usually get murdered and I don't know, all this stuff. And I'm just so excited to read it. It's just gonna be something I can just sit down, pretty much just read in one sitting, but I am so excited. I love anything that's like self-referential, that is making fun of something. I feel like that's kind of what I do. The, the, way, the reason I use memes is I like making fun of myself and they're kind of the easiest way to do it. So <laughs> so yeah, I'm so, I'm so happy that I'm finally getting to read this. I honestly can't wait. It's one of my most anticipated books. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So. Yeah, yeah, so excited to read this later this month. So there we have it. That is my February TBR Cluedo TBR. Please let me know what you thought of any of these books, particularly like Book of Night and stuff like that, Gallant. Like I need to know what you guys thought. What am I letting myself into this month? Please let me know. Uh, if you got to the end of the video, comment the globe emoji, like world, part of your world. Comment the world emoji down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.